Hey fam, what's up? Uh, I know what you guys are thinking. JM, you're wearing pink. What is up with that? And you were totally right to think that because that never happens. I never wear any sort of color unless it's like black, white, or the in-between, which is gray. Um, but obviously I'm wearing pink today because it is February, aka Singles Awareness Month, aka the month that everyone spends planning the perfect date for Valentine's Day. And so I thought, what better way for me to celebrate this day than to do a story time video because it is the first week of the month and that is what is on schedule and that is what we are doing right now. So here we go. Okay, so today's story starts back on February 14th, 2010. So that was six, almost six years ago, you guys. Six years ago. Basically, I was in my very first relationship, ugh, and it was Valentine's Day and it was a Sunday. I remember it like it was yesterday because this has haunted me for years. Um, luckily, I'm over it now, but basically, it was Sunday morning and I was at church because I'm a good Christian boy. I was sitting in church and I got a text from the person that I was currently at that time involved with. Meanwhile, you guys, I lived at home with my parents and I probably saw this person maybe once or twice a month in the span of like six to seven months. So we weren't really like that close, but you know when you're young and it's your first relationship, you're like, oh my God, I'm in love. So I'm sitting there and I get a text and it says, hey, I need to see you today. That was really loud. Hey, we really need to see each other today. Like we have to spend this day together, blah, blah, blah. Rewind a couple of days. I had texted this person and I said, hey, like I'm really sorry, but on Valentine's day, I'm gonna be at church in the morning and then I'm driving home with my parents because obviously I was living with them and we lived an hour away from Sacramento, which is where I went to church, which is where all my friends and anybody that I ever dated was, they were all located in Sacramento. And I lived about an hour away at that time, so I was like, I'm not gonna be able to see you. I'm sorry, like, I hope you understand. And apparently we were totally cool, like, wasn't a thing. It was just like, that's fine, like, whatever. All of a sudden, the day of Valentine's Day, which I don't even think I was dressed cute that day, I get a text and I was like, okay, like, how do I do this? Like, we need to see each other apparently, and I was young and dumb and all that stuff. So then I start, like, scrambling trying to make plans, trying to get my parents to let me stay in Sacramento. Ugh. And so anyways, all my friends were going to see the movie Valentine's Day. Ironic. It had come out that day in theaters and all my friends who were like all dating each other at the time, <laughs> uh, they were all going together and I wasn't going. And then my nephew, Vinny, who you guys have probably seen in my vlogs and stuff, he wasn't going. And Vinny and I had the same friend group because we're so close in age. And so we go home to his house uh, with my parents and his parents, which is my brother and my sister-in-law. And we're like trying to convince them to let us go to this movie because all of our friends are going and we'll only be gone for two hours. And then I told my parents like, just give me two hours and then we can go home. So they finally agree to let us go to the movie. And I'm like, sweet. So I'm like texting. And I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm going to this showtime. Like, this is all I can do. Like, does that is that okay? Does that work for you? And again, totally cool. Like, I get a text back like, yeah, I'll meet you there, blah, blah, blah. So we're on like a time crunch at this point because the movie was just about to start and we're like driving to get there. And then all of a sudden I get out of the car and my sister-in-law, my nephew, Vinny's mom, uh, drives away with him still in the car. I guess they got into like an argument right after I got out of the car and she told him that he wasn't gonna go. I'm now by myself, like all my friends are inside, but Vinny's like my best friend, so he's now gone. And I'm just like, okay, well. And so I go up and I get my ticket for Valentine's Day movie. Oh God, it's so cringeworthy. This story's just cringeworthy. <laughs> So I go inside and I find my friends and we had already texted them ahead of time and I was like, hey, save us like three seats. This girl that was I was friends with that was dating my nephew at the time, she was waiting for him to come. And so I'm sitting with her and we both have two empty seats next to us, but then she's like sad because he's no longer coming. So I'm just kind of like, sorry, that's weird. <laughs> Meanwhile, the movie already started and all of a sudden I get a text and it's like, come outside. No, I saved you a seat, like come inside and watch the movie with me. Like that's, that was the date idea, plan, whatever. He texts me again and says, come outside. Like we have to talk about what we're doing. And I'm just like, why? So I go outside, we're talking. And all of a sudden the, now the plan is that we're gonna go to dinner 
and then we're gonna come back and see this other showtime. And I'm like, well, first of all, I already bought a ticket, so. Second of all, I told you that I have a strict, like, two hour, like, window of time that I'm gonna be here. Like, I was dropped off at this time and I'm getting picked up at this time. There is no, well, let's just go over here and come on back and just tell your parents to suck it. That doesn't work in my family. We're now, like, arguing in the parking lot and I'm just like, why can't you just stay here? Like, we weren't even supposed to see each other and now I'm here for you because you wanted me to and now you want to leave and you don't want to stay and it's just getting weird. <sighs> I don't even remember how the conversation ended. The person that I was dating at the time showed up with family members um, who were also on like a Valentine's date. I think there was like five of them total. And so they just left. And so now I'm literally just like standing in the parking lot and I'm literally just like, Okay, so I was just ditched what to do. And so the only thing I could do is to go watch the movie. Here I am sitting in the movie theater by myself on Valentine's Day, watching the movie Valentine's Day. But just when you guys thought it was over, it's just gonna get worse. So I end up getting out of the movies and I end up not going home with my parents. My parents decide that we're gonna hang out in Sacramento for a little bit at my brother's house. All of a sudden I get a text and I go upstairs into my nephew's room so I can have like some privacy because the text says, this is literally like word for word, this is what I remember it saying. And it was the first text. There was no hey or anything like that. It was just flat out, I don't think we should date anymore. Oh. Okay, well, mm hmm So I'm just like, did I really just get a text saying that I'm getting broken up with? Like, is this really what's happening to me right now? So we end up having like this back and forth text conversation, blah, blah, blah. It's the end of the world because I'm 18 and everything is over, blah. I ended up getting broken up with. Uh, via text message on Valentine's Day after being ditched on my Valentine's Day date to see the movie Valentine's Day. That is my story for Valentine's Day. Um, it's pretty sad, I'm not gonna lie. It sounds really sad and really pathetic whenever I think about it or whenever I tell people about it. And so, yeah, that's, that's what happened. And I don't think I've ever celebrated Valentine's Day since then, and that was my first year that I was going to celebrate it, other than when you're in, like, third grade and you take cards and candy for all of your classmates, even though you hate, like, half of them. And then I thought to counteract this story, I would tell you guys, I just spit again. I just keep spitting in, like, every video. I was thinking to counteract this story for you guys so you wouldn't be so bummed out. I was gonna tell you guys a story about a really great date that I've had, not Valentine's Day related. Um, but I really haven't had one of those. That is my Valentine's Day story. Let me know down below if you guys have any really bad, like, crazy V-Day stories, because I know I've heard a couple of other ones. But every time someone tells me their bad Valentine's Day story, I tell them mine, and then they're like, oh, that was worse. And I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah. So yeah, leave it down below in the comments, you guys, if you've ever had a bad Valentine's Day date. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, I love you.